So flirting in a relationship, how does that affect the relationship? You can go back in your phone and your, if you're still with the same person and see the way you behaved in the beginning to see if you're still doing those things, you know, three years later, five years later, 10 years later, whatever. You need to, again, like you said, keep that vibe going. Don't start nothing you can't finish. That is what keeps people um, connected. Right. It's, it's a part of what keeps you connected, but it is a big part for me. She used to flirt with, with her boyfriend and she used to give like sexual innuendos to her boyfriend and he would never like catch it and throw it back. He would always, she would say, did you hear what I said? And he's like, yeah, I heard you. So <laughs> she would be like, well, okay. And she just felt. Did so, you get it? <laughs> yeah, she just felt like so lost. And she's like, what do I do? It was like, girl, I, I, he sounds very prudish to me. I mean, I don't think, and she felt like, well, I know he's interested. And I was like, well, maybe you guys aren't sexually yoked. Women know very early on if they like a person or not. Right. You know, we, we have don't. to kind of grow to that point. I mean, obviously we're attracted by the things that we see. You, you know, guys cute, are very visual. Yeah, a, a, a cute face, you know, a big behind, whatever it is that you're into that gets your attention right away. You see that. Mm -hmm. But as a man, you end up throwing all of these darts against the wall because you don't know if that person likes you. If a person expresses interest in you, that makes your job easier. Because you can decide if it's something that you want to do and you can pursue it.